uh, there was a standing ovation in effect to give her time uh, to recover her voice to get another glass of water out there. I think the prank obviously did cause some concern in the hall. There will be questions about security here, which has been immensely tight for all of us, journalists and delegates here, coming in and out of the conference hall, how this relatively well-known comedian and prankster managed to get in. Robert, uh, we'll let you go and catch some more people for reaction, but let's go to our political correspondent, Tamara Cohen, who has uh, the details of what actually happened, because from the pictures, uh, it was a little bit difficult to work it out. Yes, the prankster went up to Theresa May and handed her um, a, a document saying P45 at the top and said, uh, this is from Boris Johnson. Uh, he, she then actually took it in her stride and said, uh, I want, I'd rather give a P45 to Jeremy Corbyn. She managed to, to laugh it off. He was then escorted out um, by security, followed flanked by journalists, uh, as he claimed, we imagine uh, this is not true, that uh, Boris Johnson asked me to do it, uh, and he said who he was, he's the comedian called Simon Brodkin. He appeared to have a pass. He appeared to, appeared to have a conference pass. Um, he didn't say anything about how he'd got in or what his motive for doing it was, other than saying Boris Johnson asked me to do it. We know that he has interrupted a press conference once by Seb Blatter before, this is obviously uh, part of his act. So he was escorted out, and actually uh, the Prime Minister dealt with that interruption as calmly as you can imagine but what happened then was that um, her, she clearly had a bad cough about the yeah. throat and then that uh, took over I think Robert I mean there, what, there was one moment uh, which is now circulating on social media mm -hmm. which is this moment when everyone stood up to give Theresa May a standing ovation for the way she coped with it uh, the Home Secretary actually turned to Boris Johnson and signal to him that he should stand up. He should up stand up. In. Yes, absolutely. That that uh, this prankster was trying to take advantage of the you know well-known cabinet tensions we've seen this week. And I think the room was very much behind Theresa May. They felt terribly sorry for her having this cough. The the, the interruption was bad enough, but that really did blight. I mean, the rest I know what it's like. I've lost my, my voice on air before, but it, it's pretty agonising to watch. And, really. and it happened so early on, so really. A lot of the key lines in her speech uh, she delivered in a very weak voice and she will feel disappointed in that because it's not just of course about the policies uh, but also about that she needed to show the strong delivery and show she was in charge but i mean it has to be said you know it, it, this was printed in advance but that final line about none of this will be easy there'll be obstacles and barriers along the way it's never been my style to hide from a challenge to shrink from a task uh, to retreat in the face of difficulty to give up and turn away for the leader uh, it, it, testing a leader is how you respond.